Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so today I was going to debunk this floating skyscraper thing, which didn't come out on April Fool's Day. Unfortunately, you can't debunk something that stupid on April Fool's Day. So instead, I got on my solar telescope. Now, solar telescopes like this do something rather uh, unique. So you will recall in the last video I did about glass blind glasses that some light is actually a big broad spectrum like this and other atomic emission lines are actually really sharp lines. Now it turns out there are lines like that on the sun and one of the strongest is the H alpha wavelength. So these telescopes see only in the H alpha wavelength which allows you to see all sorts of cool structure on the sun like sunspots and flares. Okay, so this guy here is a solar telescope and I actually got it for the Venus transit back in 2011 or 12, I forget which. On the 5th of June 2012, the last Venus transit of our lifetimes occurred. So I've got the H alpha telescope here and the transit starts at about midday and ends near sunset. Incidentally, one of the most gratifying things about watching this transit was just one of those great moments where you actually get to feel the solar system in motion. I mean, not only do you get to see Venus track across the surface of the sun, even with my poor equipment, you get to see the evolution of the solar flares over that period of time. I mean, many times I've watched Venus crawl out from behind the sun and approach the Earth on the inside track, but you only get to see its movement from day to day. Here you can watch this silent ballet as this mighty planet with its almost unimaginable momentum quietly sails in front of the sun. It was almost a profound moment that brings the solar system to life. I mean really, how many times can you actually watch the solar system move? Um, and it's not really meant to go on this mount, so I just botched it up to go on this mount for the moment. And I'm trying to get back into some of the solar photography because there is a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse this year. So at the moment all I've got is a camera pointing directly into the eyepiece there. And it's looking at the sun over there. And that's the sort of thing that it's seeing. Okay, so what I've got here is the sun in one specific wavelength of light, the H alpha. So I'm actually focus this a little, you actually see those. That's actually a nice, beautiful pair of sunspots there in the middle. And sunspots are magnetic poles, so they usually come in pairs. So you actually see the magnetic interaction of those two sunspots, which I might try and zoom in on later. But even at this level, you can see some of the, there's another set of sunspots. Even at this point, you can see some of the flares. Oops. on the edge of the sun like that. Now these things are incredibly dynamic. In fact, I, I keep on meaning to do some time lapses of these guys. But I mean, if you think they look kind of cool like that, wait till you see what happens when I turn the exposure all the way up and you actually start to see the structure in these guys. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at those. Isn't that just amazing? Right, I'm going to see if I can zoom in on some of those. Okay, so we're zoomed in a bit here. And we turn the exposure down. We have to refocus this guy. For which we will need to be able to see some sunspots. Like those. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Alright, let's come to these flares. And let's dial the exposure all the way up. That's as much as I can get out of it. So yeah, I'd forgotten just how cool things can look through a solar telescope. So I thought I'd just share what the sun looks like in this one wavelength of light. 